This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. It wasn't a landslide that did this, but combat. A deadly one. I sure hope our little governor has escaped the carnage. Search the zone. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happened here. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the zone and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really a place of a cult. Uh, but rather a place of... anchoring. A place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps Katasak wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. There are bodies, and without a doubt, there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. More tracks. Footprints. They must have fled this way. Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. Move away! Things are about to get dicey! More signs of an explosion. I can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. New footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are not only the corpses of our own men, but where could these other soldiers have come from? These are coin guard. But I couldn't tell you if they served the Bridge Alliance or Telema. There are footprints. Only a handful made it up to here. The path stops on this overhang, and despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine or Captain this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine, what have you gotten yourself into it? These vials look familiar. Katasach used the very same to stock his potions. He must have come here. I'm going to pick them up. And these rocks were broken, as if they had taken cannon fire. What could have happened here? I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. According to this note, this troop came from an outpost at the bridge alliance close by. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge in some way be linked to this attack? That makes no sense. Very well, let's sum things up. Konstantin and Katasach definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual, but they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. Unless he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. 
He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he now has leverage to apply to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. But regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. We could return to Wen Chavier to learn more. Perhaps Katasak returned there. Or maybe his Voglandai could tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers were involved in the combat, or at least the end of it. They must have some stories for us. I doubt that the Alliance would have decided to openly attack their ally. Don't forget that they owe their continued presence on the island to you. And thanks to you, I know. But their men were there, on the cliff. And Constantine is no longer among us. Maybe those men are still loyal to the preceding commander. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. I've heard stories of your exploits. Thank you for all you've done. It's unusual for us to be offered aid by a Renaixe. It seems my Tiern was right. You are on Ol Minawi. How can I help? Katasak has disappeared. Would you have any idea as to where he went? What? But my Tiern followed you to help you. How would I know where to find him? I don't know exactly what happened, but he took my cousin to a particular place. A place to perform a ritual. Their escort was attacked. Decimated by beasts and by magic. And my cousin and Katasak have disappeared. And you believe that the Tiern has taken your cousin and killed his soldiers? Your heart must beat in shadow to believe that the man who offered you his hand only did so in order to better betray you. Wait. This is not what my friend wanted you to hear. Perhaps they were wounded. And your master wanted to take Constantine to a safe haven to heal him. We must find them at all costs. Wherever they are, they most certainly need help. Forgive me, Donegan. Your words are true. I spoke without thinking. 
But I do not know how I can help you. There may be a way. I found these vials of potion on the battlefield. Do they belong to your master? They could very well. But let me see them closely. No. They are not his. This potion does not seem like any of those my master prepares. I do not know this smell. The plants used to make it do not come from here. Another Donegad must be implicated. But none that I know would attack Katasach. May the trees protect us. Who would attack the water that heals? The earth that feels? They must be in grave danger. Yes. I sincerely hope that we will find them. That they are alive and well. I must go. I need to continue my investigations. When you have discovered anything, let me know. Kwaawalemsek. I have to go. Kwaawalemsek. Karantz, I want to understand this story about the promise made to the priests. I am certain that they lied. You understand the Renegade better than I do. But I see that you are already busy with something else. So could you come back once you have time? Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Come <laughs> on. 
Colonials? You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? Disarde. I am legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, sir? I'm looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rattle? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me? I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? I understand what you're feeling. The pain of seeing your men fall one after the other. The feeling of being abandoned by your leaders. The anger. But if you know anything, speak. My cousin is not one of them. I don't know what to tell you, Excellency. I haven't stepped a foot outside camp. I can see how difficult your present situation has become. I'm certain you haven't been paid either for quite some time. I cannot solve all of your problems. But what would you say if I took care of that one, at least? A little gold would certainly improve the morale of my men. <sighs> one of the men I'd posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just refusing to die. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? Concerning the young man that survived. Did you see the nurse? Not yet. Really? I thought that your cousin's life hung in the balance. This boy will not survive long if someone doesn't help him. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. an infirmary I know I've come to see the wounded soldier the captain told me you might need my help that is very kind of him but alas it's a little late what are you saying is the soldier no he still lives 
but I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Were you able to concoct the potion against Burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Uh, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Karantz. I want to understand this story about the promise made to the priests. I am certain that they lied. You understand the Renegade better than I do. But... I see that you are already busy with something else. So, could you come back once you have time? Anything else? I must leave you. See you later.
Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days when we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming in our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the Coin Guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantine Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and... I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching. Rebels. I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. <laughs> and you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes, it's best I leave now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. Excellency, I was told that you saved my soldier. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please. I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes. I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were already nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good man, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency.